HTC U11 Plus could have been the Pixel 2 XL if Google hadn't chosen LG to make the device. And indeed, the two phones have a lot in common, a 6 inches wide screen, similar design, Snapdragon 835 chip, a high-end 12MP camera with big pixels and HDR boost, rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, edge squeeze sensors, Android Oreo, but HTC has built on those feature with its own boom speakers, richer squeeze functionality, wider aperture for the camera and 3D audio capturing for the vids, a bigger battery, and jaw-dropping design especially in its translucent version. The 6GB RAM and microSD slot are welcome improvements, but we are yet to see if the Super LCD 6 screen has what it takes to meet the flagship needs. The 100% DCI-P3 color space coverage and HDR10 compliance should help its case, that's without a question. So even if it weren't meant to become the next Pixel, the HTC U11 Plus is certainly no underdog, and better yet, it has the dog tags of a fighter. The audio jack is gone for good at least as far as HTC is concerned and that's plenty clear if you look at their recent phones. The U11 Plus is yet another smartphone to drop it from the specs list, but at least it got a watertight IP68 body to show for it. But there is one trendy feature the HTC U11 Plus emits, simulated bokeh effects for either of its cameras. Even though the U11 Plus has top of the line sensors, you won't get bokeh shots. And HTC was the first to offer them on the market even before it was cool. Despite those omissions, HTC seems to have done a fabulous job in the U11 Plus is shaping as one of the most beautiful smartphones this season. Squeezable at that. And with the holiday shopping craziness just around the corner, we can't wait to see if the U11 Plus is another gadget making it to our wish lists.